in t- looking at the clean aircraft concept, it really is important to take a look at this graph here. Um, and this shows us the problems that can be caused by having any contamination on the aircraft. So our normal curve of lift uh, is following this curve right here. Let me change the color so it's more visible. This uh, this curve here is our normal curve for lift. But then we have, if we have a contaminated wing with frost, for example, our takeoff lift might occur right near where the maximum lift is even being created. Or if we have a wing contaminated with ice that curves even lower, we may never get to that point of having enough takeoff lift. So that's really important to note when we're talking about the clean aircraft concept. And so a particular accident that occurred was Air Florida Flight 90, which happened in January of 1982. My mom actually recalls watching the aftermath of this accident. They had news crews on site almost right away watching these people get rescued out of the Potomac River. And I was just a a baby. I was like one month old when this happened. So she remembers seeing this happening live on TV. Uh, This accident happened with 78 people were killed. The airplane was a 737. The crew did not have much experience operating in winter environments. And they ended up, um, they did get de-iced, but there was about 45 minutes before they actually went to take off. And then, uh, even worse, the anti-ice system was left off for the engines. This ended up that the probe for the engine information got re frozen over uh, because of slush kicked up onto it or just refroze. So when the pilots set the takeoff power setting, they actually set it much too low and ended up uh, taking off at way too low of a power setting um, and eventually hitting the bridge uh, over the Potomac River, killing some people in cars, and then the airplane broke up, fell in the river, and five people, I believe five or six people, were pulled out of the river. Uh, There's actually an animation that you can watch. If the airplane had used its normal takeoff power, or if the pilots had just added more power, they they have figured out that it probably would have cleared the bridge and would have actually made it, but the pilots, with a series of mistakes, had ended up Unfortunately, not setting the power high enough, and then the added contamination that was left on the airplane was too much for the airplane really to overcome with that reduced power setting. So this example is a prime example of an airplane that was not clean, and then winter procedures not followed, inexperienced crew caused an accident to happen directly relating to winter operations. So that's why we're going to take a look at that in this presentation